enthusiasm, decision, energy, mindfulness, equanimity, and attention. And if we look at these, this is how he sets himself up for success in his practice. He sets himself up with enthusiasm to follow the instructions. He understands he has the power of decision during the observation. In other words, he is powerful enough to make a decision to stop the movement away from the object of meditation to the hindrance or keep it with the object. You see, that's what's talking about decision and the decision to run your six hours or not. These are decisions you're making. Energy, mindfulness is your observation power. Equanimity is your balance and attention. Attention is an interest factor. These states were defined by him one by one as they occurred. Now we see known to him the states arose, known they were present, known they disappeared. Now this is cool because this is how everything works. And he's telling you precisely if you carry what he found inside his meditation into life, Absolutely every state that we were to suffer from sadness or depression or uh, irritability or uh, frustration about something, they weren't there. And then they arose and then they were present and then they disappeared. And so understanding this coming to watch this clearly and see it is a big part of your discovery factor in the twin practice. He understood thus. So indeed these states not having been, they come into being and having been, they vanish. There you are. He's witnessing Anicca every single time he goes through one of these levels very clearly. Regarding those states, now this is how he set up his mind. 